Okay. I'm gonna step outside a bit and drop a beacon. I'm gonna drop it on the gate. Gate to Empress. Empress. Also, oh, it's still on. Damn it, I forgot to turn it off. This is the conning tower, the screw, the keel. Yeah, it's slightly ahead of the prawn bay. So let's put it down there. Okay, turn it off. Okay, let's review. I have three of them. Can I make more power cells? No. I'm missing silver. What happened? Uh, apparently the connection dropped, I don't know. Uh, it still says it's streaming, and my, um, we're still recording. Uh, I grabbed the eye stock, so now I'm missing sea crown and fungal sample. Sea crown and a fungal sample, and I could use some silver. Where do I get Sea Crown? A Sea Crown is rare. Behind the giant cove tree and fern palm, exclusively in the bulb zone and dunes. Bulb zone and dunes. Yeah, apparently the condition just dropped for some reason. Everything dropped. Um, behind the giant cove tree? Oh! Okay. I know where to find that one. And the ghostly sea base on top of the floating island? Okay, that's some place I want to go. Uh, southwest of the Aurora. It is the large landmass completely supported by ancient floaters. Southwest of the Aurora. Southwest of the Aurora. That's uh, a bit of a drive. Sure, let's do it. And it's floating, so I just need to find it. Need to be on top. 
wait, south, southwest, south, west, so over here. Hi, upper Leviathan. Thank you for following. Much better. Okay, first we reach the Aurora. First we reach the Aurora, and then we'll go southwest. And my wife just got home. Yeah, that's a drive. I wish I could mod Subnautica. Um, why can't you? You can if you want to. It just takes a bit of doing. Xbox. You don't have a PC? Have anything PC like? What's that? What the hell is that? Yeah, that's a rig pack. Uh, well, yeah, I I only play PC. What was that? Can you spawn large creatures? Technically, yeah. Creep vines. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to make some more titanium. Okay, so this is the Aurora southwest of the Aurora. Is that way? South west is that way? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, well, fine.
I'll fix it later. Ooh, is that a baby reef back? It's a baby reef back. Look at them tinies. What the size of my prawn suit. Oh, um, I don't think I installed that one. Not really into big heads and stuff like that. Did I turn on the outside lights? Okay, maybe I should fix that now. Damage. Does anyone see any damage? the damage oh there it is okay good to go So what does it do? You just have uh, a gas pod the size of a, of a reef pack? Out of the way! Where is that island? Biome entrance. Yeah, I'm guessing the the last river. I think I found it. Damn, that's crazy. Okay. Where's the entrance? That looks kind of like an entrance. Lots of pretty plants.
That looks like an entrance. Here we go. That's what I need. Can I fit my pawn in now? Probably not. Okay. Outside lights off, inside lights on. Let's take a dive. Say under, let's see under. All these floater blobs. Right, I need to catch it. Dropping rocks? What the hell's going on? Where are my samples? Oh, this thing. Hi. Signatures on the island's surface. Okay, let's listen to that log. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. A voxel shrub. A pink leaf plant with an angular appearance which grows exclusively on land. Let's save in case I run into predators and other monsters. Also careful not to fall in the dark. What are you? Uh, damn it, don't fall. Bulbo tree. A bulb based flora which roots to the ground sprouts turquoise leaves, and as they suggest, the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects, but can be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. Hmm. Okay. What are you? A 
all these specimen which grows on land, the vase-like trunk protects the root system from predation and self-repairs over time, explaining the characteristics cracks on the side. Jaffa Cup. Jaffa Cup. A common land fungus found in clusters, grows quickly, size is limited only by available nutrients and space. Um, remind me. Sea crown and fungal sample. Sea crown. Where the hell am I going? There's an arch here? That'll be convenient. I hate you. Anyway, can I have a sample of this? Damn, that's a lot. At least they're small. Hi. Okay, I dislodged something. It's rolling away! It's rolling away! Okay. So I came about over here, then I walk over to the left. Like climb this. Maybe I climb over here. Maybe I don't. I go over in this path. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh. Hell. Yeah, that's another way.
There are three Rex. There are three... Yeah, there are three Rex. Okay, let me go around the side of the... side of the island. Just so I can get to see all of it. And there's an arch somewhere around here. Oh, hello. Exterior go bed. Advanced synthetic soils allow this grow bed to support a huge variety and quantity of alien plant life. And it can be installed anywhere on land or underwater where there is space. Oh. It's rising. Chinese potato. It's a Chinese potato plant. Common throughout the China territories where synthetic foods are still stigmatized and there remains large tracts of arable land on which to grow fresh produce. Genetically designed prior to the expansion, this plant is highly adaptable to different environments and a staple of new colonies of galaxies wide. Okay. Small marble melon. This plant collects water from the air rather than relying on its root system and produces large fleshy fruits which are both edible and have a typically high water content. Neat. Okay, so it's just just the plants. Where's the rest of it? Where is the arch? Right, the flower bed. Where is the flower bed? There it is. Exterior other. This is actually kind of fun. Grub basket. And I'm gonna get there. An orange colored land plant which usually contains a thick protein rich sludge at its base. This may suggest a carnivorous life cycle wherein grubs and insects are attracted to the bright petals, make their way to the center of the plant, but are unable to scale back up the slick inner leaves and are ultimately digested. I'm guessing this path takes me up. Yeah. Something's flying. That's a long track right there. Hmm. Clouds going through the engine module. Okay, this looks rusted to hell. Bulkhead door. Bulkhead door is designed to separate compartments while in reinforcing structural integrity with a solid titanium frame. The door can be opened and closed to seal off compartments in the event of fire or flooding. Or simply for privacy. Huh. Okay, what do we have? Melons and potatoes and an observatory. Because see voice log number one. Integrating new PDA data. This island 
island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Ooh. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. It's already getting dark. And times move fast. Okay. Place a slide Place a slide That's not an entrance. More melons. Hello, purple tablet. Integrating new PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. <laughs> it might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. No. People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. No, I have the room already. Yeah, yeah, the hole. Whoa, pretty. I have plenty of batteries. Oh, I missed that one. Seaside living with an ocean view. Okay, Paul Togal's log. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned hm. for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Finally, the indoor go bed. The inside habitat modules, more compact than the outdoor version, features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system. Okay, what did you say? Before I do that, scan the lantern tree. A conglomeration of individual vines which rely on one another for structural support. Grows exclusively on fertile land, each vine produces orange lantern-shaped fruits with minimal nutrition and hydration value. 
Had the bull in an emergency. Inventory is full. Damn, that's big. Uh, drop that one. And drop the battery. Still not gonna be enough. Stone palm. This specimen was first identified in an artificial glow bed on the island. It is not listed in existing floral database, so it is unclear whether or not it is native to this planet. Genetic code shows some features with local, other local plant life, but this may be the result of DNA transfusion rather than natural evolution. What do you say about the storm? Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. <laughs> With my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. If this rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, in the go bed, just titanium? Okay. Uh, drop the water. And what's that? This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Okay, so I didn't find the knowledge tablet in there. And I didn't find the Sikron I was looking for either. Uh, there was nothing in the room. Other than what I found. That's a bit disappointing. But I know uh, the other option for catching that plant is. And I'm gonna go get it now. Seacon fungal sample. Where do I get the fungal sample? In tree mushroom in mushroom forests. Okay, then why didn't I get anything from it? Welcome. 
Drop the tablet and give me that. <sighs> yes, I have the observation, the the observatory, the multipurpose room, and the scanner room. Okay, let's drive. Actually, on the way, I'll show you my base. So you see, I have all the cool stuff. Maybe I'll plant some stuff. It's gonna take a little bit. Hmm. Um, giant wave pack. That was my fault, it was the fish's fault. There we go. This is my base. How about we turn this thing off? And grab the two power cells. The nearly empty power cells. And I'll need to check the batteries manually. Hmm. Okay. I would just take all the batteries because I don't need them anymore. Only have ion batteries. I also don't need all the fuel cells. My base, it's big. It's not that big. It's big enough. Welcome aboard, Captain. And I kind of want a flower bed. That's the grow bed. That's the bulkhead. That's the indoor grow bed. 
right here here Yay! First of all, charge the power cells. So the other things. Make more iron batteries. Actually, I'm starting to think that I have some arrangements to do before I can go and look for the other things. So I'm going to cut it here. It's been three and a half hours, and I'm just going to keep building some stuff and uh, getting materials. Uh, thank you for watching, whoever was watching, and hopefully you'll catch me uh, next time. Next time, tomorrow is D&D &D Day, and they're going to go fight the Aboleth, which will be fun. Uh, see you next time.